Today's coaster fight is of Jackrabbit and Judge Roy Scream, two classic wind roller coasters. The Jackrabbit has been operating at Kennywood since 1920, and Judge Roy Scream has been operating at Six Flags Over Texas since 1980. Both of these rides are all about the airtime, so it's time to figure out which one is better. Let's first start off with the height. Jackrabbit has a maximum height of 40 feet, and Judge Roy Scream has a height of 71 feet. Judge Roy is definitely the taller ride in this case, and so the scores for this category are determined based off of the maximum height for the tallest wind roller coaster out there, and that gives us our two scores. So Jackrabbit will be earning a 2.3, and Judge Roy will be earning 3.6. Next, let's go to the drop. Judge Roy is going to be earning a 3.5. It has a drop of 65 feet, but I wasn't that crazy about the drop. It wasn't really memorable. And Jackrabbit didn't have the best drop either. And Jackrabbit's drop is the double down. I'm mainly counting the double down for the airtime section of this fight. Its drop actually is bigger than Judge Roy Screams. Even though Jackrabbit's only 40 feet tall, its drop is 70 feet. And that's all because of the terrain of the park. But I'd say it has a better drop than Judge Roy. Next up is the speed. Jackrabbit's maximum speed is 45 miles per hour. And Judge Roy's is 53. The scores for this category are determined based off of the maximum speed of the fastest wooden roller coaster out there. And that gives us our two scores. And as you can see, Judge Roy's score is just a little bit higher. Next up, we have the smoothness. And because both of these are classic wooden roller coasters, I wouldn't call either one of them smooth. I think they're both okay. Neither one of them is really rough or unbearable. They're very tolerable. They're just kind of right there in the middle. So they're both going to be earning the same score. Next up, we have the airtime category. And Judge Roy is all about the airtime. Lots of airtime hills, but the airtime hills don't necessarily deliver great airtime. The airtime moments are okay. I think that the execution could have been a bit better. But let's talk about Jackrabbit. Jack Jackrabbit only has one moment of airtime, which is that double down, but that moment of airtime is outstanding. It is fantastic. That's why I'm giving Jackrabbit such a high score. It would have been nice to see more airtime moments, but that double down is just so fantastic, I can't not give it a high score. Next up, we have the intensity, and as you can see by the two scores that these rides are receiving, I don't think either one of them are really intense. They're both kind of okay. Jackrabbit, I didn't really find intense at all. I'm giving it a 4, and even that I think is a bit generous. And Judge Roy is getting a 5 because it has one element after another. It just goes airtime hill after airtime hill. And because it goes 53 miles per hour, there are moments where you do feel like you're going pretty fast. And so it is a bit more intense than Jackrabbit. Next up, we have the duration. To determine this category, we are eliminating the time spent on the brake run and the lift hill. This gives us an accurate score of how much time you're actually spending on the ride when it's actually doing something. Judge Roy has a lot more elements than Jackrabbit, but it's over quicker, and so its ride time is shortened. Jackrabbit actually has a longer duration, which isn't really surprising because it has lots of those slow turns. So it's completely understandable why Jackrabbit is getting the higher score in this case. Next, let's talk restraints. Judge Roy basically has your standard wind coaster restraints. Nothing really special about them. But Jackrabbit's restraints is essentially a seat belt. There is a lap bar, but that's more for you to hang on to. Your main restraint is that seat belt. Because it's so small, you really feel open. You don't necessarily feel safe, but obviously you are. And that really adds a cool element to the ride. It's something really unique about Jackrabbit, and so that's why I'm giving Jackrabbit a pretty good score for this category. So that is it for this coaster fight. Winning by 4.9 points is Jackrabbit at Kennywood. Congratulations. Judge Roy, you're a fun wind roller coaster to just ride. Judge Roy Scream, you're a fun coaster to just ride, get some good airtime moments. But the reason why Jackrabbit won this coaster fight was because of that double down, its unique restraint system, and it is going to be a longer ride because of the clever way it used the terrain to its advantage. So I want to know from you which roller coaster you prefer Make sure to stay tuned for more coaster fights. If you're new to Coaster Studios, of course, I have a bunch of coaster fights on my channel already. They're all available in a playlist, so make sure to check those out, and I'll catch you guys next time.